Hello everyone! For today's video, I wanted to make an illustration inspired by two colors, green and brown. Naturally, it turned into a nature theme. So the idea for this one came from me originally wanting to make like those one color challenges. And I was going to do that, but when I started to do some of the thumbnail sketches, I realized the idea I had in mind needed more colors. We'll do the one color challenge another day. So the boy is supposed to be like a forest guardian in training, hence why he's only doing things like helping the elderly folk across the road, or stream in this case, or something like that. He's not quite ready yet for bigger responsibilities, such as protecting the forest from invaders and enemies. Also why he has a rose staff instead of like a sharp sword or spear, but the rose does have some type of powers though, so he's not completely useless. The Ole is also supposed to be a guardian of the forest as well, but like retired. She's done her time and duty and now she's just resting and just happy that the new generation is willing to step up and defend their forest. She also teaches at like the kindergarten with all the little children about the history of their village and forest and how to use their natural powers such as healing and making plants grow. The more dangerous stuff such as fighting and using their powers for attacking is usually left up for the younger adult soldiers when the children get to their teenage years. So she can probably do it but not but she prefers not to. Oh my goodness. And here with the rose I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was just putting down lines at this point. Yes I was looking at a reference but there wasn't one in the exact angle I wanted so I was trying to match two or three to of them together so um I did the best I could. My desk was literally a mess. There were so many markers around. I did some color swatches of the markers to see how they would look like on this paper. And I also did some color thumbnails of them so just to see how they would turn out. I was also thinking about making this illustration digitally in Procreate, but I thought I should do more traditional pieces even though they are at least to me more difficult to make. For instance, like the graphic from the pencil sometimes doesn't show up right, like it's too reflective on camera. And especially aggravating is when the colors don't match up to what's in your head, like it's like with the mark and on the marker caps as well. Like it's so much easier to adjust colors and saturation digitally, but on paper, nah. But if you mess up, there ain't no redo button. That mugs for life. But I still enjoy the fill of pencil and markers to paper more. I just prefer coloring digitally because it's easier to like, you know, fix mistakes.
you know i want her to have like a bush for her outfit since she's like very one with nature it's kind of like grown into her but instead of looking like a bush she looks like a swamp thing but i guess that's not too bad it gives her more of a sense of old and decaying oh my goodness this is honestly the worst part of this piece for me the ground it's just uh, i just don't like it it's ugly to me i i feel yeah i just don't i feel like i could have done more i feel like it could have looked better if i like i said done digitally i could have fixed it i guess i i just honestly didn't know what i was doing And this is me trying to be smart and act like I know how to make a perfect circle. I don't, by the way. Here I'm just thickening the line art to help make them stand out more from the background because they were starting to blend in a little bit. At the end, the whole piece was looking a little meh to me, like there wasn't enough contrast. It all seemed like everything was just in a mid-range value. If I was doing this digitally, I could have easily fixed it. <laughs> Sorry, I. So I decided to black out the whole bottom part. I'm glad I did because it definitely made it look better. Show. Take me off. <laughs> no! I was frantically looking around my room to find some type of to find some type of paper or cloth. And I just had some on my table earlier, but I put it away because I was cleaning up. It's always when you need something that it goes missing. Mm -hmm. 